On the table today, at long last, LEGO Mixels Series 7. We have Jamzy, Tapsy, and Trumpsy, fresh out of Mixopolis, playing some of the best whatever they play. Let's begin the commotion with Jamzy, set number 41560, 70 pieces. Jamzy built, standing, ready to entertain out. Jamzy very guitar-like, extreme entertainer, never stopping. Good looking Mixel. We have pretty good arms with uh, lots of hinges on there for some good singing movement. Can even open his mouth a little bit for that high note. Yeah. And we've got a little bit of hinge on his guitar top. Uh, looks good. Oh, he's got a little tail back there. Interesting. Oh, okay. Doo doo. Oops. Tipsy. Jamsy. There we go. He can hide his uh, mic back there. So at any moment, he can just reach around and then boom, he's ready to play. Uh, stumpy legs, but still very fun. Obviously, there is a Nixel involved with this pack, and he is starstruck on Jamzy. That is pretty funny, these stars. He is ready to uh, rush Jamzy for that autograph and get as much as possible from him. <coughs> now, let's move on to most likely everyone's favorite Tapsy. Set number 41561, 57 pieces. Tapsy built, ready to drum out. This guy is quite creative. I wonder when Lego Mixels first started being developed if they ever thought they'd reach this level of creativity. He is totally rocking. I love the fact that he has font, the Mixies written on that front giant eye. You know how bad it would hurt to have that written on your eye? But that's how he is. They say this guy is quiet at first, but once he starts playing, uh, get out the drum solo. Four arms of sticks to just go to town. It looks like he's mostly cymbals actually, uh, with just one big uh, kettle drum up front, or whatever you call that thing. Uh, very neat. I like his little legs. Four little spider like legs for jamming around. I bet those make some nice tappy noises themselves. So yeah, Tapsy so far is easily my favorite. Oops, he totally threw a stick. Easily one of my favorites of the group just because of uh, so awesomeness. Tapsy everybody, Tapsy. Trumpsy here is going to take us off with the finale, set number 41562, 54 pieces.
Trump seat built and ready to blast. Notice how I saved his cheeks for last there. Kind of funny how he looked without him. I guess that's when he's not playing as loud as he can. I also like his extended belly breathing in and then breathing in. Just a great Mixies character. They chose a good color scheme with this group, the yellow and the purple, very bright, vibrant, and musical. Trumpsy also has a little mixtape going on on the side there. Is that really a mixtape or what is that? The reels, uh, something quality I imagine. Can't just be a cassette. Trumpsy is looking good. This is a really creative one, I like it. The head was kind of bizarre, throwing it up on top, upside down on the side and all of that. Great horn nose. Trumpsy is definitely a fun one. And finally on stage, the three Mixies group together, Jamsy, Tapsy, and Trumpsy. This is a great musical collection. Each one has a lot of fun built into them. I like how Jamsy has the ability to open up his mouth and sing a little bit. Tapsy, of course, is just an incredible uh, monster drum set like Mixel. And Trumpsy is a complicated guy. I really like the build on him and it works pretty well. Now it's that time where we like to go online, look for the PDF, and build the Mixies Max. And I think it's going to look something like this. The Mixies Max. The Mixies Max. Kind of an interesting Max here. I'm not sure if I... What to think about him yet. First of all, I wasn't even sure if I built him right. Something with the head just didn't feel right. Uh, he's got this interesting overbite going on, and just the way it opens up, it looks a little plain compared to past Maxes. Uh, I like his arms though. In the back, we've got his kind of uh, drum slash mic arm, and then on front, he's got extra arms for cymbal hitting. Uh, you could do something like that, or maybe he slaps them down, I don't know. So he's kind of musical too. Kind of hard to reach around and hit that front drum. Although that would be hit from the back, maybe with his tail. Oops. And he does have a tail, obviously. I like his little blue mohawk up top. You can kind of move it around and make it cool like. So that's kind of fun, but for some reason I feel like he's missing a little bit of a charm that some of the other Maxes have had recently. There were a lot of leftover pieces too. Kind of felt like we could have done a little more with them. Oops, dropped the mic. But not at all a bad Max, uh, especially when you look at some of the original Maxes. It's amazing how far these guys have come. They are really quite creative. So that is the Mixies Max musical fun. The Mixies, a part of the Mixels Series 7, are appearing on shelves February 2016. A really good looking group of Mixels. That's what I have to say about that. The Mixies are the best band ever. Thanks for watching Squirrel Stampede. Please like, share, subscribe. You should totally stick some of these in those cheeks. You got lots of room for them. Mm, yum, 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 yum.